everyone, this is Summer Erin and I'm going to be doing a quick review of Cass. Obviously this is from the live stream, these opinions are my own, and obviously I just want to give a preface that I am not a super big a fan of supernatural things in The Sims. Well let's go ahead and see what I think about Cass and you can always leave your comments below. So the first thing I want to just address right away is that the cast does not appear as of now to contain any items for children or for toddlers. So this has been a problem with a lot of Sims packs and I do want to discuss it in more detail hopefully at the end of this video but I just want to go ahead and just say that in case you guys missed the live stream there is no sign that there are anything for that. So I do know that children I don't think can be spellcasters right off the bat and I understand that but I really think that giving children and toddlers nothing is quite disappointing. But let's go ahead and just look and see what we have here. So I think a lot of people are going to like these hairs. I think that there's a lot of interesting textures going on. I do love how the Sims team has gotten so much better at textures and I think that a lot of this stuff does fit the theme quite well. Is it my personal style? Not quite. I do like that kind of more plain braided hair that you just saw. The one that's not the ombre, I could totally see myself using that a lot. The other ones, probably not quite as much, but like I said, I don't have a problem with them because they seem in theme. There's nothing to complain about here. Now, I do want to talk about the overall themes they were discussing in terms of cast. They said they went for a couple different looks. So they went for both a more darker gothic look and they also went for more earthy tones which they said kind of went with the new world of Glimmerbrook. And honestly, I think those themes make a lot of sense. Now they did say they were worried about it overlapping too much with vampires and I actually mentioned that originally when I was kind of talking about this before, Realm of Magic. But I feel like they did pull it off so that it doesn't feel like a rehashing of Vampire. So that's very good. I also think that a kind of tie dress that you just saw there is quite cute. Again, it's not quite my style, but it almost has kind of like an old school feel where you could really use it for a variety of things. I always look in packs, especially for cast items, how versatile is it going to be, but also how is it, you know, useful for the actual pack. And that's a really hard balance to strike. Now, in terms of the my personal taste, a lot of these things are not my personal taste, I'm not going to lie. But I don't have the same feeling I had when I looked at the Machino stuff pack, where I was like, where the heck are you going to use these clothes? I do feel like in this world, it makes a lot of sense. Also, I like that they included some more natural, neutral swatches. And I feel like that's really important to have those plain swatches because like I said, you want to get a little bit more use out of the game. Now, will I say that most of these can be used outside of Realm of Magic? Like you can, but it's pretty freaking weird, right? So for the women, you do, I can't talk. <laughs> we do have a number of items in terms of like tops and full body. There are lots of items for women. And that is what I'm going to get to at the very end of this video. So they do play a lot with different textures. I really appreciate that too. They were talking about how they have a lot of leathers and they have silk and they have suede. And I could see that so much detail is going into these clothes. And it's so weird that I'm like sounding so complimentary of this because I do have some issues with the cast, which we'll get to later. But we do need to appreciate that everything has many swatches. Unlike Machino, when we had two swatches for a couple pieces, they have multiple swatches for everything. They do have a variety of textures and they have a variety of clothes. For women, there isn't that much to really honestly complain about. Again, it's not my personal style. In fact, I didn't really like much of anything. I do like that see-through top though, that sheer top right there. I think that's quite cute and with the different swatches, I really think it could be super useful. I like the pants. They later go on and kind of say that one of the outfits kind of looks together like an equestrian look and then the guy's like, oh, you shouldn't have said that because you know now people are going to be like, oh, we need horses. So I thought that was kind of funny, but I definitely could see that. And I think that they did do a nice job of kind of doing some more versatile pieces and then again some of the darker pieces. One thing I would like to see, which I did in my own Realm of Magic lookbook, not saying it's better than theirs besides I didn't make the CC, I just found it. I would have liked to see some lighter pieces in terms of, you know, still looks very much like Spellcaster, 
but is kind of the lighter side of the magic. Because you wouldn't necessarily be studying magic to do the curses. Like, honestly, a lot of us would, right? But I want to see some of the lighter side, and I feel like we saw that a little bit in one or two of the dresses, but I felt like it was mostly either gothic or cutesy. So maybe just a little bit variation between that, but that's me being super picky. There honestly isn't a lot for me to complain about, I know, unusual, for me in terms of the adult female. And in terms of that too, instead of just giving us clothing, they also gave us two boots, which admittedly they're pretty similar, this is for female still. They gave us makeup. When was the last time we had makeup? Please give us more makeup and more packs. So they had this really cool, like you'll see it a little bit later, this cool like facial glitter detail. And then they also have lipsticks, which again, they're very out there. And I don't know how much you would actually use them, but I could totally see for people who don't use CC, like how are you, like what do you use for makeup at this point? So it's nice to get new makeup. And they even gave us some necklaces and some rings and some earrings and they have these really cute kind of moon earrings kind of reminds me of something i found myself and honestly like i said it was kind of interesting because i did aroma magic cc lookbook and it was really interesting to me to see like how far off the mark i was for like what they have in game and i can see some overlap and definitely some differences i think that it's all female if you couldn't tell is done well and this is coming from someone who was looking at these styles and was like, eh. Like, especially leather stuff. Like, leather is a big turnoff for me. I don't even like leather couches. Seriously, I know. We're, these are clothes we're talking about. But, like, I just don't like leather at all. I hate the look of it. I really don't like the look of super heavy gothic stuff. It's not me. It's not my style. And there, just nothing about it is really my style but i'm thinking about the pack like i said and while i could see them including a few more things i apologize for that ad by the way i think that the adult females are well covered now we're gonna get into the critical part so i feel like in every single pack that we get for the most part there's probably some exceptions adult females fairly well covered right what about the other genders and what about other ages? This is this is what I always am consistently, not, I would say disappointed, but I usually expect it, I guess. Look, I know that adult females, let's be honest about this, young adult females are the most popular to play. I am guilty of it. In my cast videos, I mostly make young adult females, but you notice when you like look for CC and you can't ever find anything for males or toddlers or children or it's very hard, that's because we don't have very, creators don't have very many meshes to work with because the focus is so much on adult, young adult females and young adult gameplay. And this is not proven to be any different. So while I think that the cast for the young adult females is very well done actually, I think it sometimes is at the expense of some others. So I don't know how to balance that out. I'm not saying like always take away from young adult females, but realistically there are, you know, and even like, you know, females who want to wear masculine clothing, like there's not, there's not enough in terms of masculine clothing. There's not anything again for child, toddler and children. And I feel like every single pack we kind of an excuse why there's nothing for toddlers or children, right? But the problem is, eventually we need some more content, and I feel like we're constantly playing catch up. Okay, so like, think about this. If you're still with me at the eight minute mark, congrats to you. So toddlers were not introduced into the game until a while into the game, and I don't remember exactly when, because I just started playing The Sims 4 last December. But I feel like they've been constantly trying to catch up on toddler content, but then they kind of like stopped trying to catch up, and now we're kind of back to yeah, we either don't get anything or it's very half-hearted. Like, I even remember, like, Island Living. There are some neat clothes and cast items for the men and the females. But there was way more for adult females than there were for males. And there was almost nothing for toddlers or children. And again, like, I just wish that we would kind of break that pattern, I guess. And I'm not surprised because of them saying that, you know, children and toddlers can't really do much in terms of spell casting. I think it would have been cool if they could have done like something little in terms of spell casting, but I'm gonna get into that later because if you guys want me to, let me know. 
I can do my own honest opinions about the gameplay. Again, this would be mostly based off the live stream because obviously I don't have Realm of Magic at this point and I might never. I don't know what's going to happen with that. But let's go ahead and talk about the mails in the last couple minutes we have here. They're kind of showing off the new traits. Oh, I didn't even talk about the traits. So the new traits, there is two new aspirations. One is for spell um, spellcasters and one is for potions. There are no new cast traits though. I'm sorry, those were aspirations. There are no new cast traits. That is also disappointing. I love that there are two different aspirations. That's cool, that's always welcome. But guys, we need new cast traits so badly. How cool would it have been to get some new cast traits? So I think that again is not something that I expected necessarily. Actually, I did expect at least one cast trait. So that was a little bit disappointing. So, I'm sorry I'm so all over the place. Let's talk about the male cast. There's not a lot to talk about. I feel like the male cast is a lot more understated than the females. I just feel like they put a lot of more effort into the females. Again, I was really impressed with the textures and the designs of the female clothes and the guys. A lot of it is kind of like this weird kind of like slouchy casual look. And I kind of get it. I kind of can see it in Glimmerbrook, but I'm failing to see exactly with the spellcaster, especially that hoodie right there they talked about. Oh, you could form a club in a magic club, and some people are talking about doing that. But like, to me, that kind of just looks like a city living. Like, I, I, I guess like the good thing is you can definitely use this stuff outside the world, so it's not highly specialized. But like I said, the guy stuff just really isn't wowing me. I think that the adult females, they did an excellent job on, even if it's not my personal taste. Males, it's okay. Again, nothing exceptional. They, you do get some boots for males, but to me, it looks like the exact same boots basically you get for females, just they fit males. So again, I feel like adult females, priority and cast, and then everything else is kind of like an afterthought. But that isn't to say that this is a bad cast collection. That isn't to say that when you buy Realm of Magic that you're getting poor cast items. I know some people honestly don't use the cast items at all, which actually I get kind of sad thinking about that. I'm actually thinking of cutting back on CC, so I do use cast items because I think it's really cool all the work they put into things, especially the hairs. Let's be honest, the hairs have gotten it so much better. So anyway, we're starting to kind of wrap up this review. I hope you enjoyed my cast overview. Let me know if you want to hear my thoughts about the gameplay. Again, this is coming from someone who's definitely Realm of Magic skeptic. I always am a skeptic though. So I hope no one was personally offended. These are just my own opinions. And like I said, some really nice items, some great textures, some really good themes. However, once again, really lacking on the areas we need most, which is more cast traits and just content for our other, you know, genders and ages because, you know, they do exist in The Sims game and it doesn't feel complete when the focus is on adult females. So I really hope this wasn't too harsh. I feel like in some ways I was honestly pretty, like, I, I don't know. Like, I liked some things pretty well. Like, I think they did pretty well. It's just that when we got to the males, I thought I was a little you know, is a little bit more lackluster. And then in terms of just not having any items for toddlers or children, I just, it makes me kind of sad. So let me know what you think about the cast in the comments below. And like I said, I'm sorry that this was a little bit longer, but I felt like I needed to go at least like 15 minutes to kind of be able to actually talk about this stuff. Cause I felt like at the beginning I was talking so fast, probably drove you guys insane. But I just wanted to get all my thoughts out and be able to fully cover each outfit. And I feel like I kind of glazed over things. But I do think, like I said, the hairs are really great texture-wise. Not my style, but really great texture-wise. And I guess that's about it. So Cass, mixed reviews. Well done in some ways and very lacking in others. So I'll see you in the next video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, bye.